what are your thoughts on that issue, election denial and how it played? So what's interesting is that there are a couple of deniers, I believe, that got elected in red states. I think one or two. Um, but generally speaking, the more of an election denier you were, yeah, the more of an election in red states, in any, like in really deep red states, there's a couple. All right. But, but in any state where it matters, where there's any doubt of the outcome, right. um, all the election deniers lost. And I think it really gets at something, which is that when there's enough voters, even close to enough voters who actually care about the election or think it matters, people don't like to hear their vote doesn't matter. They don't like it. And I think also that there's an element of sort of how Trump was like a big, exciting drama for a while. And now we've just had COVID. We have a war in Ukraine. We have huge inflation, all the stuff that is supposed to really screw an incumbent administration during a midterm. And it didn't. And I think that it didn't because Biden is basically just saying, let's be normal. Let's get back to you normality. Also- do you also think it didn't because the case that a lot of people, including our friend Dave Rothkopf and others have made, Michael Cohen, who I know you like, is taking a lot of things because Biden has gotten more done than any president and potentially in our lifetime for people that they can see or, you know, some people argue will be about to see in the next two years because of the legislation that passed, the war that ended and so many other things. So I think the war ending in, in Afghanistan hurt him, actually. You think it played yeah. any any role in on election day? And anybody yes, it did. Really? It did because it Rothkopf yes, because it, nobody nobody's even thought of it. Well, what does Rothkopf know about anything? But the, the bottom line is that Biden was around 4850 in approval rating before he pulled out of Afghanistan. That knocked him down to 39 and it took him forever to claw his way back to 45. Without pulling out, he could have stayed in Afghanistan, which would have been a mistake and would have been an immoral thing to do. Credit that he he bravely ended a war. President Obama couldn't do I, it. Presidents have a hard time. Maybe maybe it helped him. It certainly helped him with me. It helped him with people like us who actually know what's going on and understand the geostrategic right. issues and why it's immoral to keep people there. Most Americans are perfectly happy to stay in Afghanistan. Right. <laughs> it hurt Biden. It, it hurt his his standing without question. Mm. Um. So, you know, and and by the way, it was still the right thing to do in the long run, very much the right thing to do, because a war in Ukraine would have been vastly more complicated to deal with if we were still in Afghanistan. So there's that. I I think I think what's going on is that people want normality. And what and I don't think that's a classic Democratic thing, by the way, for people to think that we provide X, we give you health care, we do this, we do that. And that boom settles things with the American electorate. and They're going to vote for you. That is true, but only indirectly. Most voters vote on very short range things, how they feel, yeah. what's happening to their wallet, what's happening to crime in the streets, or their perception of all of those things. Or, or their perception is a really important point because this whole anti-woke, you know, the Ron DeSantis and others, you know, that I dealt with at my, at my school board election, this CRT stuff, like they perceive that these things are being taught or that crime right. is, being, but it's not, it's just a ghost. They made a ghost and it's, it's really haunting to a lot of people who don't pay attention. Unfortunately. Yeah. And if you notice in this election, the, that ghost only worked very unevenly. Yeah. Republicans right. did much better in red States. They did much better in New York and they did much better in Florida. It didn't really work anywhere else. In fact, they lost ground. This is the first election since 1934 when the incumbent White House party during a midterm did not lose a single state legislator, legislature. In fact, this administration managed to add more than 100 state legislatures, state reps, state house seats in the country. That is like something that hasn't happened since FDR. 